Okay, I've got my laminated strips sequentially placed, center line drawn, and I'm going to start using a, a Uriah resin glue to glue these back together now and put them into my curved form. Okay, I've got glue on the last laminate. And I've sequentially placed these with the sides I want out, and I've drawn a set of lines to center them. So that now I'm laminated up, and I'm ready to put this in place on the, on the pole. I'll put a piece of wax paper here. the glue from sticking to the pole. And this whole thing, this whole sticky glue assembly will now be placed over here on the curved pole. I've got the laminated pieces on here centered to my form. I've got some holding strings to hold the curve down in place until I get it situated and then I will actually go into the vacuum bag. So I've got everything in place. I've got a club pole and now I'm going to put it into the vacuum bag. cause it not to not to vacuum down to where I want it. I've kept it fairly nice and form. You gotta keep an eye on it to make sure it stays on the form nice and square. It doesn't shift as it's starting to vacuum down. Okay, you can see where it's actually starting to pull this back tighter and tighter to the form. It'll pull it in tight and vacuum this all down to a couple thousand pounds per square inch. You can see the glue has started to squeeze out almost the color of, it's a medium color uh, resin glue. So it's almost, now between the bag and the form, it's almost one piece. And you can see how tight it's gone. You couldn't pull this away if you tried now. It's fairly tight. It hasn't come up. There's an automatic shut off. It hasn't come up to its full pressure yet, but it will. And the form itself has to be made fairly strong with a lot of ribs in it to withstand the pressure itself of the vacuum press. I've, I've seen them collapse and bust apart because they just weren't strong enough. And it's going to sit overnight until it cures completely so that I know it doesn't, uh, it doesn't, uh, the glue is completely cured. With this kind of glue, there is no creep in the joint itself as with a, a yellow wood glue, so it will actually retain exactly the form that I've made for it into the table and be a fairly structural sound. Remember when it's 